G'day guys, Simon from Hive Keepers here. Just out to uh, inspect some hives. It's nearly Christmas time here in southeast of Australia. Slow year for us. We've not really had the year that we've wanted. Uh, it's been hard to get into the bees. The nectar flow hasn't really started. I've seen in the trees nearby, I find that we've got some of the gum flowering, the peppermints are flowering. I'm hoping that what that's relating to maybe some nectar and some honey in the hives. Um, I'm here with Dale today. We're just gonna have a look through the four hives that I've got here. Um, it's been a while since I've seen them. Uh, it's a really good chance to get in there and see what's going. And I'm gonna make sure I use my Hive Keepers smartphone app to see, um, to be able to track my records over time. So I haven't had a huge chance to be able to use that uh, in the way I've wanted to. Today's the first uh, chance in a little while, so I'm pretty keen. Anyway, we'll uh, touch back with you in a moment once we find some cool stuff to look at. So here's our little queen for this colony. This was a swarm that we caught earlier in the season. It's never taken off this hive. Um, we'll show you inside the box in a minute. But this queen's gonna go because I'm gonna merge this box. She's gonna go to the other side of the frame. That's what she's gonna do, hang on. Um, she's probably already made her way back to the other side. Oh, there she is just here, just tracking down there. Um, so she's gonna get killed in a minute. I need these bees to be merged with another colony. I want to keep the other queen because I know more about the other queen than this one. She's just there. She's just going through that or nearly went through the hole. So I'm definitely going to keep the other one. Um, and later in the season anyway, I'm going to try to rear some of my own queens if I can make that work from uh, having learnt that at the bee scientific workshop I went to a little while ago. There she is. So she doesn't fill me with confidence just looking at her behaviour and how she's moving around. Um, her time's up. Um, I'm going to put an end to her in a minute and pack these bees up and then a bit later on I'm going to move her, move this box on top. Once it's sort of a bit darker this evening and all the bees are back from foraging, I'm going to move this box on top of the other hive. Um, I'm going to take advantage right now of getting her and that's the queen gone. So this is now queenless hive. Over the next little while but these bees will notice that. There's a wax moth trying to fly in. Bloody wax moths trying to fly in whilst we're here. They're a pest. Most people would be aware of them. Kill that one as we go. The reason I want to merge this hive, this colony, with another one is they're two underperforming colonies, not really doing well, struggling in this southeast Australia, um, unusual conditions that we've had this year. And it, the healthiest thing to do for them is to put them together, make one stronger colony, and hopefully. Not that I'm sort of worried about being product, having production for honey, but at least having a good quality hive that'll winter well. Even though it's only December and I don't need to worry about that for a few months, I can see that this year it's about making a healthy hive system for each, uh, each of your hives. And uh, honey production is the last thought. So um, sorry to all those people that normally are happy to line up and grab some honey. It's probably not gonna be a great year for that. Time will of course tell, but um, it has been really tough. Uh, we'll touch base back once we've got ourselves ready to do the merge with the other colony and we'll show you what we're doing then um, to keep you in the loop. G'day guys, merging the colonies here. Two wheat colonies into one, which is uh, fantastic to be able to try to give them a better chance of life. Um, so I've put the newspaper between the two colonies. The queen that was in the top box is the one I killed a little bit earlier. And there's a queen now in the bottom box with that existing colony. So there's one queen, two boxes. Over the next day or so, they'll leak through this paper. You probably already know that. And they'll hopefully merge together happily without any major issues. Obviously that can easily happen sometimes. Um, you can have issues, but with a bit of luck, we won't have that problem here. I'm going to put the lid on. I want to get this on because it's getting cool out here. And we'll see how they go in the next day or two. Thanks for watching. You can see more at the Hivekeepers YouTube channel.